Welcome back to my channel, you wonderful, lovely people. It's uh, two weeks to Christmas, give or take. And this is a, a weight loss and training update and video. So um, for those keeping track, I'm now under the weight I was going to America recently. So I've lost a little bit of weight I gained back and all is going well. So um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button hit that alarm bell, like, dislike, all of that stuff, it's all good, I love all your comments, your sharing, your engagement, it's amazing. And this week, it's all about weight loss and it's all about the future and it's all about, I've got some tips actually for, um, so here's the thing, okay, Christmas is coming and like I guess a lot of people who are interested in my channel because of the weight loss story, I guess, like me and everybody else, we've all got that January date in mind of, right, January, I'm going to hit it hard, going to get back on the wagon, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. We all eat we all eat too much over the holidays, so, so why not? Here's my advice, though. Get your workout and get your routine and get your food and your diet plan sorted now. As you're watching this video, the next thing you should do, get your plan, get your routine sorted. And that's what I'm doing today. We're going to the gym. My new routine will involve quite a lot of heavy lifting because it's ultimately for bodybuilding but I'm also throwing in some Tabata um, short 20 second high intensity exercises with some 10 second rests in between as little finishes so broadly speaking depending on the muscle that I'm training on a given day whether it's volume or um, you know ultimate weight or reps or whatever um, there'll be a a warm-up period of, of uh, warm-up and activation of the muscles then the main workout itself which would be the, the, the lifting the, the bodybuilding element followed by a Tabata session which would be no more than 10 minutes fo followed by a little cool down so that's going to be the basic structure of all my routines going into the next year and this week I'm meeting up with Stacy who I don't think, you've, I don't think, she, I don't think she's been on camera yet we're gonna say hi to Stacy uh, she's one of the coaches here, my, my, one of my, my PT, um, and we're going to go through some Tabata routines to get that ready, get that technique right, and do it now, do it before the holidays, do it before, get your diet sorted, get your, whatever your stack is going to be, if you're using BCAs, if you're using shakes, get that stuff now, because everyone's out of stock in January, and the last thing you want to do in January is delay your routine because oh I couldn't start this week because this wasn't in stock and I wasn't sure what to do in this week so I'll start next week yes screw all of that stuff get your prep in before Christmas get your plan sorted before Christmas get onto your coach get your go online whatever whatever you're doing to get your plan sorted get it ready now get it ready before Christmas because then once you start in January you've got no excuses and we all do this we all have excuses we all have every reason in the world to not train trust me I've had 50 years of not training you know so and we all do we all find a reason an excuse why we couldn't lose weight this week so this is all part of the no zero day plan going into next year at a bare minimum next year every single day we'll be meeting my movement goals if you've got an Apple watch that's filling those rings or if you've got a Fitbit, it's doing those steps. It's that basic minimum we have to do. And ideally, on our training days, we hit all our training targets too. So it's a no zero day policy from January. So we're really stepping up. We're really putting the gas down. Nearly at the gym. So we're going to take the camera off the windscreen mount. I had a few people concerned about me driving and video blogging. And my both hands are on the wheel. My attention is focused on the road. I occasionally glance at the camera. But that's no different to chatting to a friend sitting next to you. I'm not distracted in any way. And I can't actually reach the camera. It's, it's right over there. It's still like two feet away from me. So it, don't worry. It's a, it's a professional windscreen mount. It's just because of the optics of the lens. And because my microphone is right there on the sun visor, it sounds as if I'm really close to it. But I'm not using a phone. I'm not using a... Uh, I'm not using amateur gear here, guys. This is, this is this is the same rig that they use on Top Gear and the Grand Tour and what have you. And I know because I've worked on those shows. Okay, we're at the gym. See you inside.
Alrighty then, we are finally here and then and unlocked and what have you. So I'll take the camera inside and let's get amongst it. That's pissing down. Warm ups. Just do a few minutes just to get the heart going, get the lens going. Do a bit below. So we're doing them. So our main workout today is going to be three or four strength or, um, sets, routines. So we're doing sumo squats to get started, hip bum working, and uh, yeah, let's go amongst it. Second exercise, uh, seated leg press, feet high because we're working for them, and uh, yeah, it's quite fun. Next exercise, so we're just carrying on with the grips. This is like a, a kickback, again, you're deep in the bum. Oh my god, my son got born at first doing this. Deep in the bum muscle, not in the bum hole. And, uh, let's carry on. So we've done our main strength routine, uh, and that's whatever yours is, is what you do. It's about 30 minutes, uh, 40 minutes, whatever. Um, so then we do, we do our finisher now, which is where we're already we're tired, we've we're trained really hard with our strength. Now we do some high intensity cardio. We try to keep it broadly in what we've been doing with our strength. So we do some Tabata, which is uh, 20 on, 10 on. Station. Good. How did that feel? <laughs> I forgot to record the cool down. It's a few minutes cool down after that. And it's snowing. I don't know if you can see it. Because everything is misting up. But the snow is falling because it's like Christmas. Santa be on his way now. So that was a little sneak peek of what my training plan is going to be next year. Now, it's important that, that that's my plan, but the basic structure will work for anyone. Now you can find strength routines online. You can hire a coach. I'll put my plan online as well, but that's my plan. You, you, you know, you do what you need to do. But that basic structure of warming up, your strength routine, which tones and loses a lot of calories, then a finisher of Tabata, high intensity, just 10 minutes of it, not much, eight minutes, you know, keep it short, <laughs> burn those lungs. So a nice little cool down just to wrap things up and to show you the scores on the doors here. That was a 730 calorie workout. 730 calories. Now, to bring that into focus, prior to the Tabata, it was a 500 calorie workout. 
So just think, we added 50% more calories in the last 10 minutes of an hour workout. Then that's pretty good. That's a pretty good return on your time investment right there, right? You see what I'm saying? So just to recap what we've covered, and this is a structure which I suggest anybody follows because it keeps it interesting. And I think it's one of the most efficient ways to get weight loss and to get into a nice tone is five, maybe 10 minutes of warming up, just quite, quite gentle, quite mild. Then your main routine, 30 to 40 minutes. Then you're doing your Tabata, which is eight to 10 minutes, which is high intensity. You, in that, for, for that eight minutes, you're gonna be doing six minutes of breathing out your ass, basically. You're gonna be absolutely pushing yourself as hard as you can for that finisher. And then a few minutes, five minutes on the treadmill or cross trainer, cooling down. So you're coming in at just under an hour, and I promise you, you will never have burned calories like it. And you're building strength, you're toning, you're working on your physique, so you're looking good. I'm gonna do heavy weights, just do low weights, plenty of reps, really get that shape. Your Tabata to really push your cardiovascular ability. Try to make it complementary to the work that you've been doing on your muscle groups, so we really drive that home, you know. Then go home and cry. Watch those, watch those pounds come off. So there you go, that's, that, that's my, my structure. Now for what exercises you do, that's kind of up to you. I'll be putting a plan online in the description and probably put it up on Snapchat or um, Instagram or whatever. There's nothing magical about the plan I'm going to do. And you don't have to spend lots of money off, you see these, you see coaches will spend, you know, they'll charge a lot of money for a workout plan which is basically somebody else's workout plan with the name tipexed out and your name written on top. Now that isn't the same as hiring a coach who gives you a plan, but then coaches you, that's different. They will give you a plan as part of your coaching routine. That's absolutely fine. But you don't need to go to somebody, drop 300 quid on a plan, and then you never see them again. That's just, you can do that to yourself online. It doesn't, <laughs> honestly, unless you're going into a competition, Unless you really have to have, you've got some imbalance on your physique or your, you know, unless you're competing, almost anything you do, as long as you stick to your broad muscle groups and you can find this stuff online, will give you most of the benefits you need. It's only if you're competing or going into, you know, you re when every tiny, every percent counts, that's the only time you really need a tailored plan. So don't let that stop you. Don't let that be a barrier to entry. So there it is. I hope this is useful to you guys. I think it's a good routine. I think anybody could uh, really benefit from just, you know, modifying what they're doing in the gym. Look, you're in the gym, okay? And I know this sounds like a, a, a line from a song. In fact, it probably is a line from a song. But that whole go hard or go home approach, what's the point of going to the gym if you're not gonna get your sweat on? There's no point in going just to mince around on the machines and check Facebook. You're there, get the calories off and then you got a little bit more flexibility in what you eat. The weight will come off a little bit quicker. It gives you so much more better. It gives you so much better results. And like my surgeon said, if anybody needs proof that training hard, you know, improves weight loss and has a massive benefit on weight loss surgery, it's me because I've trained hard all the way through my procedure and I trained hard before having surgery. I'm unusual. I know most people who are overweight don't do that, but I did. So there you go, train hard. If you go into the gym, make the time count. Make every second at that gym count because you're there, it's worthwhile. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that alarm bell, please like, comment, share, share your own workout tips, bring it on. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah.